Hey everybody, welcome to The Hidden Chest, a spoiler-free showcase of overlooked and or underrated games. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, things outside aren't looking exactly great. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a break, and luckily for us, I now get to talk about the most god pleasant game I've ever played. A short hike is a simple experience, and it makes me very happy. The concept is pretty basic. You're in a big open national park, and it's Claire's family's tradition to climb to the top of the mountain there. Her phone has no reception, she has nothing better to do, so she decides to climb to the top for the first time ever. On the way, I think you'll find that this game is very good-natured, both in the fact that, dang, that's some good nature, but also in the fact that this game is very... Kind. Not in the saccharine fake kind of way you'll often see on Reddit and Twitter, where the word wholesome is spammed until it has no meaning and toxic positivity is a thing that actually exists. This is a completely genuine tenderness and showcase of the goodness of human nature that just makes me feel good. The writing is stellar and emanates a kind of genuine warmth that's impossible to fake. You can kind of tell that the writer here really loves likes people, and that's honestly kind of refreshing. Get all these Hobbesian circle jerks out of my face! Now with all that said, and with all this gameplay being shown, I bet a lot of games come to mind. But I think I can guarantee that Breath of the Wild was not one of them. You start this game, there's some quick dialogue, and then it sets you loose into a completely open world. If you see a place, you can go there. The only thing gating you off is your access to Golden Feather-based stamina. The ultimate test of this freedom, of course, was right when the game started. Instead of following the trail you're supposed to take, I did an immediate 180 right into the ocean. And you know what happened? I found a secret island that was so immensely steep that I couldn't even hope to reach the top. So I made it my long-term goal to climb that thing. And when I reached the top, ooh, it felt good. Yep, it's that kind of game. The main methods of traversal here are climbing and gliding. Yes, like in Breath of the Wild, I am aware. Oh yeah, and uh, multi-jumping via flapping, because you're a bird. The controls here are all phenomenal. Just goofing around the world feels really great, with the gliding especially being a highlight. You can let go of the control stick while doing it to nosedive and then stick it again to get a massive burst of speed. And after gliding for a few seconds, a new beat begins to play over the music and it's just majestic. So, like I said before, the amount of climbing and flapping you can do is limited to the amount of gold feathers you have. They're the game's main collectible, you can find them practically anywhere. Like, by exploring, helping people, and buying them with money that you can find all over the island. The more of them you have, the higher up the mountain you can go. And considering that the controls are pretty much flawless and perfect in every way and I love them, I am very happy to participate in this process. Whether you're racing a guy to a lighthouse, cleaning litter, fishing, or just relaxing and enjoying the views. You'll never not be having a relaxing good time with this game. And they didn't even need enemies or combat to pull it off, which is doubly impressive. Unless, of course, you count the blood sport of beach stickball to be combat, which... I mean, yeah. You know, the first thing that stuck out to me when I saw this game for the first time was the visuals, naturally. This is a style I adore, and I was kinda worried had basically become extinct. I'm not sure if it has a name, so I'll just call it Pixelated Low Poly. This is a game that would aesthetically feel right at home on the PlayStation 1, 3DS, and especially the original DS. It reminds me the most of the Legend of Zelda titles for that thing. If Spirit Tracks was ported to modern consoles without any art style changes, a short hike is exactly what that would look like. Minus the furries, of course. Except for Ponyo. 
we don't talk about bunny -o. Nowadays, ever since the end of purely portable consoles, the only games that are really keeping this art style alive are indie horror games, actually. It is good at obscuring things and generally being uncanny and horrifying, but in a short hike's case, it uses this style for literally the exact opposite purposes. This is an anti-horror game. Instead of fear, there's nothing but good vibes all the way through. The character design is absolutely adorable. The music is beautifully serene and uplifting. You can also wear a hat. Yep, I'm sold. So with all this in mind, is there anything to not like about this game? Well, I, I guess. If you've seen the $8 price tag and, y you know, the title, you've probably already guessed that this game is short. A short hike is not exactly hiding this fact. If you rush through everything, you could probably beat it in a couple hours or less. But like, why would you? This island is densely packed with stuff to do. When it comes to fun per minute, there's basically no downtime. Heck, I enjoyed my time with this game so much that I 100% completed it. Got all 20 golden feathers, completed the fish compendium, mastered every minigame. Bought every collectible, basically taking any excuse to play this game as much as possible. It's just that good. There are so many little details that put a smile on my face. So many jokes that made me laugh. Exploring the island is a joy. Even the sound design is near perfect. The feel here is out of this world. The only bad thing I can really say about it is that I wish I could play it more. If you can pick this game up, you absolutely should. It's on the PC and the Switch, and if you get it, you won't be disappointed. Unless you're looking for more of a time gobbler like an RPG or something. Man, wouldn't it be crazy if the guy behind this game was making an RPG inspired by Paper Mario, where it has the same style of writing and you befriend enemies and it looks absolutely amazing. <laughs>